Hello my goddesses. It is day three of my daily musings, which will be audio clips of me sharing wisdom and guidance to help lead you back to your enchanted feminine soul. So I'm going to be doing, th doing these for the next 14 days or so, celebrating the launch of my signature program, the Erotic Luxury Temple. And if you are the type of woman who is serious about her growth and you want to take this further to skyrocket your feminine journey to the next level, then I will leave the link down below in the comments for you to register now for the program. So today I want to chat about how to spot toxic men. And sometimes I refer to them as weasels or jokers. Weasels is my favorite word, so I'm gonna use that one today. <laughs> so this is gonna be about how to know if it is a supreme energy man or just a weasel in a suit. So back in 2016, I was bartending at my local golf club, at a local golf club. And my time here allowed me to encounter hundreds of different kinds of men of all various flavors and financial backgrounds and character. And this allowed me to get a lot of secret insights on the male psyche, understanding how they think and what they are secretly craving when it comes to women and partnerships and relationships and dating. So I also quickly learned how to, dis to distinguish men of high integrity versus the men of low quality. And unfortunately, there were a lot of the low quality guys floating around, kind of putting on a facade of manhood, not really offering any substance. So these weasels, you know, they put up, they were good at putting on this grandiose mask of false bravado and interacting with them always felt really hollow and empty. You know, I could always feel their swampy energy like leeching onto me. My body always told me like who to reject and who to keep distance from. And it did take me some time to know how to listen to my body when it came to intuitively feeling into men. And, um, but over time, you know, I was able to really awaken that discernment and that really let me know how to have that intuition with them. So these weasels, you know, they were very opportunistic. It was as if they had this really deep-seated hatred of women. And it was an energy of contempt that you could definitely feel within them. You know, even if they tried to cover it up with a cheesy smile. You know, they were, they were the ones who wanted to trick other people for their own selfish gain, not really caring about the impact of their behavior. They were like a little child latching onto their mommy, you know, believing that the world revolved around them. <clears throat> you know, they always wanted to be catered to, but then they never offered any real value or real wisdom to anyone around them. So when you are truly embodied in that erotic luxury energy, your erotic luxury power, these weasels will stand out loud and clear to you. You know, they will always feel like out of reach and never really quite there with you. You know, and those grandiose fuzzy pictures that they try to paint, they're going to feel very vacant because they're not actually present with you and connecting to your soul in that moment. Now, with a supreme energy man, which is that high quality, divine, masculine kind of man, they were not always the loudest in the room, but they were the most grounded and they were the most solid. You know, so these kind of men, you could feel their presence pouring into you like warm honey, soothing your soul. You know, they had this rock solid stability that would, you know, it feels like it evokes something very primal in you as they like shield you as you navigate life, always being that safe covering for you. The way they look at you, you know, they will cherish the details of you. They are dependable and reliable and you will feel really adored and cherished and taken care of by men like this. And these kind of men, they, they really hunger for your enchanted soul energy, you know, and his number one priority is going to be to cherish that gift that you offer and not take advantage of it. You know, these supreme energy men, when you have one that is completely enamored with you, he's going to think you have a magic spell on him. He's going to tell you how deeply he feels connected to you, how he craves your energy, how he just wants to be around you, feeling you, be close to you, hearing your voice. So the weasels, <laughs> these weasels will attempt to actually turn you into a chaotic mess. You know, they can actually be really deadly and really, because they really want to tear you down because your light, your inner light is a threat to them. 
And I personally believe that they are actually jealous of women for whatever reason. You know, it's like they want to be you. They want your light. They, they are jealous of the value that you carry. And a lot of that really stems from having a mother wound, you know, and the mother wound within them, unfortunately, gets projected onto all women, turning all women into objects that they feel they have to punish and objectify and use and manipulate. Just because he's so wounded and void of that love his, he never got from his mom. You know, these kind of men, they love thriving off of your emotional distress. They delight in your self-abandonment. They enjoy your easy convenience. And, you know, after a while, they just toss you away once they're bored and have siphoned what they needed. And I also want to say that women can be weasels too. You know, I see a lot of women who enjoy turning men into objects to control or destroy. And all of that just stems from a lack of inner security, just feeling as though, you know, they feel as though the love that they really want is not available for them. So they feel they, they, feel they have to resort to abuse and control instead. So I know a lot of women don't want to hear this, but I believe it is 150 million thousand your responsibility to pick your mates properly. You know, you can't run through life always blaming other people. Like at some point you have to like look within and figure out why you're not having healthy discernment when it comes to picking partners. You know, so you do need to have a healthy vetting process when it comes to choosing your divine partner and to be accountable when it comes to allowing men into your body. You know, these weasels, they can be deadly. And if you struggle with picking the wrong mates, if you, you have to understand that no, it's not your fault in any way. However, you do have to do some reverse engineering to see what's going on. You know, are you missing red flags? Do you not know what to watch out for? Are you driven by fear and driven by desperation so it blinds you and you keep making excuses for these guys? Do you have a habit of bending your boundaries for these men? You know, most of us were never modeled a healthy relationship, so it's possible that you may not even know how to identify a supreme energy man. You know, I certainly did it, and it's something that I had to study and implement on my own. So it definitely is something, a skill that you can develop for sure. But if you don't know how to identify, you know, the supreme energy men versus the weasels, that's actually very, very dangerous to you. And you really do need to take the time to learn this information. Otherwise, you're going to keep recreating the same cycle and keep continuing to end up with men who treat you badly. And you'll never be the goddess who's adored and cherished by the higher quality men. So in my high-end signature program, the Erotic Luxury Temple, I share with my ladies how to date as a queen, leaving behind that Tinkerbell Cinderella complex. I'm going to be teaching you how to own your majestic no which is all about you having boundaries around the love that you give. It's about you having clarity about your choices and just the discernment and the strength to only put yourself in, in environments where you're actually honored. You know, if you do not know how to spot a healthy man, that's not good because you're going to end up in getting yourself into situations that are deadly. But once you begin to prioritize your inner woman and partake in this life-changing soul surgery, that's when you really see yourself blossom as the siren who has endless options of, of supreme energy men to choose from. And these supreme energy men, they're the kind of men who provide the necessary containment and structure and strength and integrity and solidity that's needed in order for your femininity to flourish, in order for you to flourish in that radiance. You know, because you can't flourish in your radiance, you're not gonna feel safe to surrender, you're not gonna be truly embodied in that femininity if you're not in the presence of a grounded solid man. So to make that happen there are three things that you need to do. So number one you need to do the healing to get yourself out of that distorted childlike mindset that's driven by fear and that desperation so that you can start to see clearly as a healthy woman. Number two is you need to understand the signs of a toxic man. And I'm going to be doing that and teaching that in the program, The Erotic Luxury Temple, the 12 things to watch out for so that you can avoid unhealthy men and narcissistic abusive patterns. And then number three, you need to learn how to not only spot supreme energy men and know how to pick them out, but to actually know how to relate to them in a way that creates healthy, deep soulmate connection. Because with supreme energy men, you can't 
approach men like that with your old childlike patterns. You know, if you're acting like Tinkerbell, if you're acting like Cinderella, you know, these men, you know, the reactivity, the wounded thinking, the projections, the desperations, all of those controlling habits that may have worked on the weasels, that's not gonna work with a healthy man and he's not gonna tolerate that. You know, healthy men are not gonna play with you like the weasels do. A supreme energy man, he's just gonna either lose interest and move on or he might even just have sex with you and then lose interest because that's the only value that you're really offering. You know, because there's not much else there for him. So you do need to know how to do sovereign relating. So sovereign relating is a phrase that I created and that's all about you relating to men from your soul. Understanding how men actually receive love, which is a lot different than what most women think. And also knowing how to provide the feminine expressiveness that supreme energy men are actually attracted to and what they need to hear in order to feel bonded and connected to you. So I wanna leave you with this question. Do you have good judgment when it comes to choosing the right men? If not, to turn this around, this is what erotic luxury is all about. And my program, The Erotic Luxury Temple, which is a tantalizing sensual journey for divine feminine awakening, covers all of this that you need to know. Because what you need is a rekindling of your inner fire. You know, you have to release that constriction within your body so that you can become more internally fluid, awakening the electricity of your essence. And that is how you awaken your inner woman. That's how you allow that inner woman to break free from those constraints and that baggage that kept her hidden. Because if not, if you keep hiding your inner woman, if you keep being disconnected from that depth of who you are, you're going to always feel immense sadness. You're going to feel empty. You're going to feel dull and bored. You're always going to be itching for something. You're always going to be hungry for something else. And it's that self-abandonment that actually betrays yourself. You know, so the more that you are not devoted to that inner woman, to that erotic luxury energy, to the, the beauty of your sensual essence, the more you're going to feel insecure and the more that you're not going to trust yourself. And weasels are most attracted to women who don't trust themselves. Weasels are most attracted to the women who are not connected to themselves. Those low quality men, they have a radar for women who are unaware and blinded and distorted by their childlike thinking, you know, because it's an easy target to sink their hooks into. But erotic luxury helps you fill those voids, you know, it gives you energetic boundaries to keep out the unwanted energy from other people. It helps you grow up emotionally and that's going to be your key to the fulfillment that you've been searching for. You know, so this is all a process of you coming home to yourself. And that's actually the safest place that you could ever be. And that only makes you trust yourself, but your intuition will begin to awaken and speak to you loud and clear. And you become that glowing, radiant oasis that supreme energy men are deeply yearning for. And these kind of guys, like when it's the right kind of man and it's the right match for you, once they see you, once they encounter you, they're going to do anything to move mountains to win you over. You know, it's a compelling feeling that these kind of men get when in the presence of that woman who's embodied in her erotic luxury and that divine feminine energy. You know, it'll be an inexplicable pull towards you that they can't resist just because your energy is just so luscious and beautiful and warm and it's just an oasis of serenity. And that's really what these divine masculine men are searching for. So if you want this, if you want to turn your love life around and you're serious about taking this deeper, I want to invite you into my signature program, The Erotic Luxury Temple, where I'm going to give you the practical examples and signs to watch out for to turn this all around and all of the healing exercises that you need in order to awaken that erotic luxury energy, that sensual energy within you. So you only have 13 days left for the early bird rate, which includes a lot of juicy bonuses, including my best-selling Infinite Allure program. So at the rate that you see on the sales page, you're actually getting two programs for the price of one. So that's a really great offer that I highly suggest that you take advantage of and register now. And I'm gonna leave the link to that down below in the comments. If you're on Facebook, it'll be down below in the comments. If you are listening to this on Instagram, Click that link in my bio and it'll lead you to the page to register. All right, my muses, thank you for sh showing up. Thank you for joining me. 
If this resonated with you, if you had any insights or breakthroughs, if you had any aha moments, if this brought anything for you to the surface, leave that down below. You know, leave me your comments down below. I would love to connect with you and hear what came up for you. I love you all. And again, I will leave the link to register for the program down below. And I will see you over in the temple. Take care.